Hello guys, we are not at home, and you know, as you can see, it's a different place. Um, we got in a little honeymoon before the baby comes, and we went to Cotswolds. Cotswold. So we're staying in a little village called Cranham. 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 I think it's yeah. It is about two and a half hours away. Yeah. Two hours, fifteen minutes from our house. Yeah. Fun fact, I studied last night. In the past three years, there's only been one criminal case around here. Oh, really? Yeah, in this <laughs> That's area. That's a really random thing to study. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's just studying crimes around the area. <laughs> so basically, if you don't know this area, um, it's basically like cute little villages is what it yep. is. Typical English villages. I did speak about it before in another video that we did. Um, so now we're here, we're just going to go check out I think Some a couple places. of villages yeah. today, and maybe like a town centre, yeah. um, which is close to either Cheltenham or Gloucester. We'll go look at. We'll see. Know, we'll depends. see some places. Yeah. Do you know how many crimes that have been in our road, just in our road, in the past month? No. Twelve. Good to know. Just in our road. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. We have arrived at our first destination of Bidbury. Yay, Bidbury. And Bidbury. there are lots of Chinese people. So I guess it's a very popular destination for tourists from China. We think they're from China. Could be from Japan. But, they're not um, from Japan. They speak Chinese. <laughs> Could be from the Philippines. No, definitely not from the Philippines. So we're gonna go check out these like little old houses that are up here. We just passed this little river and, and now we're gonna go see what's up here. something a pond I'm guessing there's trouts in there and it's £4.50 for admission so it looks nice but don't pay £4.50 to walk around it but I can see it So now we are finished here. It was really small. Uh, we just seen a little things, and it's quite cute. But it's really small, so you just see it for ten minutes and then you leave. Actually, we've been more than ten. We minutes, have been more than ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, but still, it's been a nice walk. It's been a bit scary because lots of Chinese people and you know, like coronavirus and all that kind of stuff. But if they're over here, it means that they're fine. They're not even wearing any masks, so they're all good. So now we're going to go to Burton on Water or Water on Burton, something like that. Burton on Water, something whatever Burton. it is. Yep. And basically, Coral said that on the internet it says is the Venice of England. I highly doubt that. So we're going to see it. It's going to be a little bit bigger than this one, so we'll spend a little bit more time there, and probably because of the time, we'll spend, we'll have some lunch there as well. And yeah, let's go. In Burton on Water, it's called Burton on Water, and uh, it's very sunny in our face right now. It is. It, apparently, it was actually going to be a really bad weekend, but it's just really sunny, isn't it? Yeah, super sunny. As you can tell, I can't even see. Kind of squinting. <laughs> um, so it's actually really nice here. It's a lot bigger than the other place and a lot busier. It's quite popular because it's very English. It's not like Venice, but it's got like little streams going around all the houses yeah and and then bridges going yeah. over the stream there's a bit of land between the river yeah i think they compare it to venice because of the bridges that you have to go to get over this like water you think yeah, yeah. It, it, I don't, it's not because of the way it looks it's got nothing to do with the way it looks um but bridges. we're gonna 
find some lunch here. Yeah, it smells so good because lots does. of pubs are around here. Literally, lots of pubs. And so you smell all the burgers and then they're making. So. Yeah, they're really cute. Um, so Probably yeah, we're going to gonna find something. I think we're going to go to the bakery, aren't we? The Cornish Bakery. Um, and eat lunch. <laughs> place that we are going to stay here for a couple of nights so I will show you around this is the entrance right into it it's a studio flat and but it's quite big I think got coral here this is the small kitchen show us show us like if you're trying to sell it here's your microwave Ooh. looks like an oven as well it does actually I wonder if it could be both I think it is get the hob all your stuff that you need when you want to cook things fridge and that's it really, yeah, it's a kitchen. We've got here a nice little dining room area, yep. <laughs> Table with chairs. We've got internet there, now that we need it, because we're on a holiday. And they left us a fire there with all yeah, the walks. walks. Show us these beautiful walks. We did, I didn't understand it. I tried to Look at that. <laughs> Go on a walk right around there. Yeah. Yeah, there. I mean, look how long that is. And we got some of those chairs, quite nice, with our stuff. Still to unpack. There is the bed here. And there is a toilet as well. Quite nice. But what is interesting is that they don't have curtains there, right? And at night you can see everything from outside. So they gave us this, which you open. And then, like, gives you a little privacy here. So tonight we went out for dinner, once we got back, and... I wanted to go to Chinese. We kind of wanted to Chinese, no, I wanted... I didn't really want Chinese. And plus there was a Chinese place that was, like, 15 minute drive away. I know it's not much, but I'd rather go to a pub if it's closer, because we're in the countryside, and I feel like pubs are very typical to go to when you're in the countryside. But they still or... have the same things anyway. No, that one yesterday had different things. I've never seen like some of the things that was on that menu. What we had was, um, so I had hand battered halloumi cheese with chips and peas and tartar sauce. And I had the chef's choice recommendation beef whatever. I can't remember the burger. name. Burger, it was a burger. Was. But yeah. I kind of didn't say that. But it was a burger. And then you got some really nice like fries with it as well. Cheese and truffle fries. Yeah. That, that and I good. got onion rings, yeah, which had last night as well. Well, the night before from the cheapie, but it wasn't that good. No, but this one was a lot better, yeah. And I don't really, I'm not a fan of onion fries, onion rings. I love onion rings, yeah. Ricardo yeah. loves onion rings, yeah. Um, so it was nice, yeah. So we had that. My halloumi was really salty, but it was good, and it was called like the air balloon or something, wasn't it? Oh no, air. Right. Halloumi was really salty, but it's salty cheese anyway, but it was even mm -hmm. saltier than like usual. For pudding, we shared a salted caramel sundae and it had like yeah. brownie in it and it had caramel, salted caramel it was sauce. Quite nice. Yeah, and like yeah, tasty. ice cream and cream. Mm -hmm. It was good, but we're glad we shared it because we'll I stop. wanted, yeah, I wanted um, pudding, but we never have pudding because we always get starter because we kind of prefer starter so I just go along with it and then once we, got, once we got home we played some games and we relaxed playing games <laughs> it's a game that you've seen us play before because it's the only like two player game that we have yeah which and is we... basically just coral winning all the time I literally never <laughs> ever win at this game coral always win you do always win and then we played card games which I won as well yeah as you... and we had snacks Yum. And she won that as well. No, nice. I'm joking. <laughs> joking, but yeah. Um, so today we are checking out of this Airbnb and it's not great weather today. Um, it's like going to be raining, I think. And there's like weather conditions, weather warnings yeah. in place. But I don't know if it's going to be this area. No idea. But we're we'll going to go to a town called Chirinsta. Chirinsta. I don't know how you say it, but it's something like that. And apparently it's like the capital of the Cotswolds. 
something like that. Nice. I don't really know what there is there. It's like a town. We'll see. So it's breakfast time and I'm gonna make us some breakfast. We're gonna have basically waffles. Um, yesterday I made it too. It's day Sunday, so I'm gonna show you what we had yesterday as well. Um, so it's waffles that I just bought in a shop, put in a toaster, pop them out. I bought gone syrup with us. Just for Ricardo, I put banana on because he doesn't like like the raspberries and blueberries that I got. And mine, raspberry, blueberries and banana. And the lady, like the Airbnb people, they left tea cakes for us for breakfast. So we've had tea cakes as well. So you just like cut them and butter them. Um, and we also had like a mango and something smoothie. So that was yummy. And we're gonna be really full because there's a lot of breakfast there. And it's gonna be delicious, and then we're gonna get ready for the day, and we're gonna leave and head out. We've got to our destination of that place, Chirinsta. This is, I really gotta know how to say this name of this place properly. Um, and it's raining, it is raining. Chucking but we're it gonna, down. we're gonna brave it. We might not do much recording because it is raining. We've only got this, and we've got this tiny umbrella, so we might only be here like five minutes. <laughs> get out the car have a look around get back in the car and then leave it's not a very big place anyway so we'll just see how it goes to be honest we might not do much filming because don't really want to get the camera wet and damaged we'll just see how it goes you have to play it by ear this is what you got to do in england isn't it play it by ear so you say so ricardo looks nervous nervous here is the cathedral, cathedral shops which are all closed on a sunday so that would have been rubbish anyway, not that we would have done any shopping, but this is our alternative. Um, just go straight down there, pretty, oh more shops down here, All closed. <laughs> and that is it. Poundland. Poundland is open. Oh okay, just walking into the road, that's cool. <laughs> Way, well done. Finished! Tour finished! <laughs> Thank you for being with us. We're home. Um, I just want to document this to you because it is chucking it down with rain. It chucked it down the whole way here and because there was no car parking spaces outside our house I had to go find a car parking space. Thankfully there wasn't one that was too far away but this is what I'm like. I'm soaking wet just from walking around the corner to the house and as I was getting out the car I couldn't even get out the car because it, the wind was so strong like it was pushing the car door closed so Ricardo had to come and like hold the door open while I got out so I'm really out of breath now because well I didn't want to get too wet but got really wet anyway. It's been a long drive I think two hours and 15 minutes driving all in the rain it was chucking it down. It was actually quite a bad weather. Uh, it was a bit scary sometimes, and we had to slow down. Well, I had to slow down, and, you know. But it's fine, we're all good. We, we survived and everything. Right now, yeah, we're just gonna relax a little bit because we're exhausted. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, we haven't been able to see the last place because it was chucking it down. And to be fair, it's not that fun to go in the rain looking at places. So we just go home and this is our goodbye until our next video, which is going to be pretty soon. It's going to be pretty amazing, guys. We'll see you soon. Oh, also, don't forget, if you don't see us in a, in a few videos, uh, in, a few, in a few weeks or something like that, it probably means that the baby is born. So that could happen anytime soon. So if you don't see any videos, it's probably because we're expecting the baby. In that case, that means you need to follow us on Instagram, because I'm pretty sure I will be posting some pictures and stories of the baby and stuff like that. So, if you want to stay tuned, go on Instagram. We'll see you there. Bye, guys.